Hi, welcome to Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine, and today I'm going to share with you how I use my phone for learning languages. You know, my native language is Spanish, but I love English and I keep learning it, but currently I'm also learning Italian. So I'm going to show you how I use my phone to practice uh, the three languages I speak. Okay, today I want to show you my cell phone. To be honest, I said this when I was already, when I already spoke English, at least intermediate. Um, and now that I'm learning Italian, I also said it in Italian for a while, but because of my accounts are well, mainly for teaching English, I had to switch it back to to English. So what you're going to see is basically uh, in English. So first, I'm going to show you how to do that. You do it in settings. Um, usually, you find your settings here. And um, in this case, it's here uh, in system. System navigation, software update, about phone language and input language is what we care about. In this case, for example, you see that the language I have is English. Here it's Italian that I put for a while and Spanish. I'll put it in Spanish so you can see how to change it. Maybe you have it in Spanish and everything changes already. What is very interesting is that, for example, once uh, you switch, you switch it. Um, many things. I mean, everything switches. But when you go to Play Store and download something, it will download in the language that your phone is set right now. Like, for example, right now I download an app. Many of these apps, it will uh, be downloaded in in Spanish. But I don't want that, so I'm going to go back. To English. Yeah, so again, in my case, in this phone, is here in Sistema. In this case, and we're gonna go to okay. So I'm going to show you that I the purpose of this video is not to show you apps to learn languages, although I do use lots of apps, I love them, <laughs> but basically what we are trying to do is to use what we have and what we use every day. You use your phone every day and you don't need to download something extra to practice your English. Starting here, for example, you can already see the date in English. You can already see the names of the apps in English. And since you already know your phone, it's kind of intuitive. So that's a good thing. For example, these are the, the main apps I, I use. But I wanted to show you some other apps that I have. Or, uh, the, some apps that I use. For learning English, for example, well, not for learning English, but um, well, I have dictionaries here. I have this dictionary, Spanish dictionary, because I also need it in my own language. Um, the two, my two favorite dictionaries in English, dictionary that come and word reference, and and then what I do in English. I have some reading. Uh, Flipster, which is an app um, for reading magazines that I got um, thanks to my subscription to the Hibna Library. Then there is another app. This is to listen to some audiobooks. I haven't really used it. Um, then, well, of course, uh, uh, here I have some apps in Italian that I wanted to show you. Uh, that I'm learning Italian and for example I play this game cover I'm gonna enter so you can see it this game uh, I mean it, it, 
you could sing any language you want. But since I changed the um, the phone to Italian, it switched to Italian, and I kept it there because I learned a lot. What am I saying with this? I just want you to see that there is in Italian, and I don't speak Italian yet. I'm just learning, but you know, it's just a game. I don't need to get everything or anything, and uh, I I don't um let's say I don't go and look for the dictionary any of of the of all of the the words that that I don't understand. But I just start getting um, familiar with some things they say. For example, here, for I have some challenges, and they explain the whole challenge in Italian, and I don't get much. But and sometimes I don't even read it. But what I do read every day or every time I enter is, for example, the season we are here, etc. So I am still learning. That is the point. While I'm I'm playing, which is what I do. And this is another app that I, I like. It's learning. I downloaded that because of English. Um, there's also a web version, but I, I use it for Italian. You, um, you can play songs and just put the the word that that you hear. It's pretty cool. Um, then I have, of course, the dictionary in Italian that, as you see, it's not um, a monolingual diction. It's a monolingual dictionary. So when I look for a word, I just try to understand the word. For example, this is the, the last word I've, heard, I've looked for. So um, I like trying to understand it in the own language. I don't like translating. But you don't have to be like that. That's just the way I like it. And then here some people ask me about some apps. I really like this one. Of course you have to pay and I don't pay anything so I just use the, the free features. What I like about this app is that uh, there's no translation. Um, but for example, let's see, shows you uh, some texts and just make you repeat, listen and repeat and understand without translating, which is something I I like very much. Um, another app that I have found is this one. Um, I wanna. Uh, learning Italian, so I wish everything were in Italian, but well, it's not possible. But at least I have this solo. some some cards. Prima uh, sarebbe meglio. In this case, no? Oh. Non ti odio. Voglio sentire of questo. some topic. And then there is a famous Duolingo that I have it because just because because I really don't use it. Because I really, really don't like it because um, basically you will see it makes you translate and I don't like that. Uh, I really don't like that. It's not my thing so I I don't use it. Um, but I the way I do learn is through games. For example here I want to show you some games. Um, uh, uh, this game is excellent. <laughs> it's good for learning English, uh, but not uh, any feature, but just for learning numbers. Have you ever played bingo? Well, you just play bingo. Um, then uh, there is an app that I downloaded because I, I found a... Um, Interesting is this draw it. Um, when I downloaded it, my phone was in Italian, so I started learning Italian. But right now I switched to English again, so it's in English. It is 
it's, a, it's my favorite way of learning, you know. So you see that it tells you to draw something, and if you don't know the meaning of something, you could just look at people drawing. I will just draw a TV, a television, and then it tells you to draw a baseball or a hot dog. And if you don't know what a baseball or a hot dog is, you could see it in the pictures, right? Oh, I know, that's a baseball. Right. Yeah, and um, um, so forth, right? Um, um, a great app for um, um, uh, intermediate and advanced new learners. It's this. I love it. It's really, 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 really great. I love it. I have. I. Uh, it's not for learners of English. Uh, it's for any anyone who wants to train, who wants to train their brain. And so it gives you uh, interesting uh, activities, like for example, right here, name recall, and you get to choose between two. Um, this is very, very, very useful. If you're intermediate or advanced, I totally recommend it. And use it, just the, the free version. So, I'm just uh, just a general view of my phone, but in general, you'll find that I have things in Spanish, I have things in English, and I have things in Italian because I am still learning the three languages. But the least I have is Spanish. But some things are in Spanish because, you know, there's always, like, for example, I don't know, the banks. So, they, they are from Peru, so they have to be in Spanish. So. Um, oh, one more that I want to show you is Music Match. Uh, Music Match is an app that uh, you can use to uh, listen to lyrics. For example, yeah, this is what I was playing. This is what I was hearing the other day. And, uh, you listen to it. Um, this app tells you the lyrics, but it also has translations. You know, if you like the translations. I don't, but I mean, it can be useful for you. So it just it, it syncs to Spotify and it also finds the um finds the music around. Okay, I'll show you some more but it'll take forever I think so it's gonna be until there now Really, I would spend hours showing you what I do with every app and regularly with my phone. But I think for now, that is enough. I'll let you know my favorite apps too, my favorite features. And I hope you find your phone useful too, as much as I do. Please comment with your experience. Tell me what you like to see. Um, you share this video, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and I hope to see you soon.